frustrated air traveler Kate Hanai is pushing Congress for a passenger's bill of rights to protect everyone who flies and to improve customer service standards throughout the airline industry. Kate the Great is here, as I call her. Please welcome Kate and I. Kate is looking out for us. She started up this coalition. This. I want to introduce Kate. Uh, she and her family were stuck on the tarmac in an American Airlines plane for nine hours in Austin, Texas. Ralph, should there be a, a, a passenger bill of rights? Definitely. Uh, passengers uh, just don't have uh, specific legal rights. The deregulation law of 1978 snuff out the state consumer protection laws, which airline passengers should be able to invoke. So we've got to clarify the situation. Support that bill that Kate and her air, uh, air passenger coalition is pressing in Congress. Every airline passenger should join Kate's group. Without a strong airline passengers group on Congress, you're not going to get that bill through, and it's long overdue. Sitting in coach on a crowded airplane can be a challenge at the best of times, but December 29th, American Airlines Flight 1348 was a standout. For nearly 10 hours, Kate Hennai was trapped among a plane load of passengers parked alongside a runway with little food and nowhere to go. There were people getting ill. The toilets did begin to overflow. Leading that campaign for the Passenger Bill of Rights, uh, Kate Hanai. Good to see you. Thanks for being with us. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. It must have been borderline anarchy. After eight hours, sane people would, would head for the emergency exit. You told us that mothers were making diapers out of T-shirts at yes. one point. Yes. The toilets were overflowing. Um, we felt trapped in a metal cage. But nothing happened immediately after this flight. No one received compensation or a letter or an apology or an explanation of how to handle that we were in the wrong city. We, we were on the plane 10 hours on the tarmac with overflowing toilets, the pilot begging for a gate. Um, the only reason we got some attention is that there were two riders on the plane that called the press who showed up at the airport. So the next morning we were on the front page of the Dallas Morning News. Yeah, attention certainly helps. Yeah. Plays like this. And quickly understand a couple of stewardesses recognized you on your flight here and said we're behind you. Yes, yes. I had several stu stewardesses in San Francisco stop me and say I read about you in USA Today and we are tired of having to lie to the passengers. Wow. And uh, we, we feel like we're the ones having to deliver a false message right. every time something happens. Well, we will follow you to Washington on your fight for Enough all of is us. enough. <laughs> Good for you, Kate yes. and I. Thank you so much. Thank you. We should point out that, you know, the pilots are very hardworking, so are the flight attendants, and they're in the same boat, or I should say plane, um, as all the passengers. And your pilot got so frustrated, the pilot did something about the situation, right? Yes, he, he finally said, enough is enough. I'm pulling the plane in. I may lose my job, but I'm not going to keep these passengers captive in this plane any longer. Uh, yeah. and, and then American Airlines, in our case, didn't respond at all, which JetBlue did yesterday, or day before yesterday, respond immediately, which well, was a good thing. Well, but... Kate, Hannah, we know that you have the support of the public and from U.S. Senator Barbara Boxer. We wish you well. More yes. power to you, Kate. Thank you Hannah. so much. Thank you. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. There were 800,000 plus cancellations last year for which no time on the tarmac data is gathered by the government. That, those are astronomical numbers. Katie Hanai was one of 138 passengers on board. I mean, the fact that they diverted us for weather was a good thing. The stewardesses desperately tried to keep the tempers and the temperament of the passengers down. American is reviewing what happened and plans to apologize to passengers, which for Katie Hanai is too little and like flight 1348. Being what I would call held hostage. Way too late. Don T, NBC News, Dallas. edition with Deborah Norville. Hi everybody and thank you for joining us. It was by all accounts the flight from hell. And inside this plane with overflowing toilets, the air was toxic. 
We could not get water. We could not get food. We hadn't eaten. I was starving. California real estate agent Kate Haney, husband Tim, and 11-year-old son Landon were among hundreds of passengers trapped on board the plane at Austin, Texas. They say the conditions were unbearable. I was scared. My children were scared um, and frustrated and upset. The pilot was trying to get a gate and couldn't. And so my mind was wandering as to, you know, what was really going on. Meanwhile, American Airlines issued a statement apologizing over the latest incident. But the passengers believe they should have been allowed off the planes to wait out the storm in comfort. Please just let us out of this plane. And as far as that apology goes, some passengers say that's just too little, too late. You're completely captive. You're like a sardine in a can. Um, and there's no option. Last December, Kate Hanai's family vacation got off to a bumpy start when her American Airlines flight from San Francisco to Dallas was diverted to Austin. She says time doesn't fly when you're stuck inside an airplane. And you sat on the tarmac for nine an hour. hours and 17 minutes. The toilets are stinking. You can smell illness throughout the plane. You're starving to death. You're dehydrated. Frustrating, but I mean, you, you, all you can do is laugh. But it was no laughing matter to Kate Hanai. She was so outraged after her onboard nine hour nightmare, she left her job as a real estate agent to fight full time for passengers' rights. She started a website and is collecting complaints about the. As outrageous as it sounds, there is no law to prevent them from holding you indefinitely. While some airlines, including American, have modified their own policies, Kate's trying to get a law passed in Congress to limit the time passengers can be held on a plane to no more than three hours. It can't be in the airline's best interest to treat people badly. Can't we trust that they're looking out for our best interest? If they can push back from the gate and, and, and put you out on the tarmac for four hours, they've got your money. They've got you hostage. In fact, Kate says there's no incentive at all for them to let you off the plane. And look what could happen if they do. They might have to handle you. They might have to deal with your baggage coming off the plane. You might want your money back and then go to another airline.